upon us, Labor Day holiday, no work on Monday. But if you want a longer holiday, why not treat yourself to this deal? This is dual destination deal. You get to go to the Philippines and Malaysia, get to explore two countries for a very affordable price of $16.99. Actually, I correct myself. It's not affordable. It's cheap. $16.99 gets you the airfare plus the accommodations in both countries. And then you get to go on tour. That's the number to call on the screen. I guess uh, I think this promo runs only till November. So call them and reserve your slot right now. And back here on the program, I see the cakes are um, inviting. <laughs> I have, I'm now here ready with a spoon because we get to try creme caramel products with owner Christine De La Cruz, a Cabo Bayan, very successful business, only three years old, and now you're opening a store in Sherman Oaks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Old. Earlier, earlier you talked to us about some of the products. Can you, can we, okay, now that I'm getting to try, let's talk about this. Was, so th was, this was your original product. It is. It's, okay. a, it's a, the vanilla creme caramel. It's based on our family's Leche Flan. Mm -hmm. The way that I tell our customers, it's Leche Flan taste, but a creme caramel texture. Uh -huh. So um, the Leche Flan tends to be a little bit more like a bite and stuff, okay. and which I love too, but it's more creme caramel texture. So it's definitely creamier than okay. your average um, creme caramel. Let's do this. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah? I don't like Leche Flan. Oh, you don't? <laughs> but this one, I can eat. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's, I like that it's creamier it's than creamy. yes yeah. i like it yeah i like it that way yeah. maybe that's the reason okay yeah. all right and that's, and then, that's usually a lot of people's um, reaction to it too is that right. they don't like flan yeah. but they like creme caramel like our creme caramel okay so. and i'm guessing that the lemon lavender creme caramel is the same thing or it's a lemon custard with um lavender leaves that okay. are baked in um and then we have to be a little bit careful with lavender because you could put too much and it'll just end up being all florally in your right. mouth but there's a little hint of floral in it okay so it's let me try custard. this i wanted to try this when i saw it because it looks very uh, unique. Yeah. I love lavender in food. Do you see that that's a trend now also with food like using ingredients that you wouldn't think would right. be okay to eat? Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's definitely one of those things that um, we're willing to kind of push a little barriers. Mm. Like we have a Chinese sausage bread pudding that we're going to be showing at the taste uh, right. for, at the, uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, so we definitely use things that are not normally found. Um, but lavender is, yeah, of course, used in a lot of desserts. I love this. Oh, good. Okay, <laughs> if I were to pick, if you ever come across creme caramel and you only had, you know, space in your tummy for one, <laughs> I would pick this over this. Oh, good. But this is because this is just, yeah. you mentioned earlier that you're not even a baker baker. No. So how did you come up with all these a lot of it comes from inspiration of literally walking um, grocery store shelves or uh -huh. um, meeting some really awesome people who sell really good products. Mm -hmm. um, like, for example, um, there's one uh, All Spice Cafe. They make a jalokia pepper, which is the second hottest pepper in the world. Uh -huh. And um, I loved it. It's super hot, but I'm like, in a custard, it could temper. Mm -hmm. So I ma um, make a Mexican hot chocolate creme caramel that's a little spicy, a little chocolatey, and it's really good. So okay. it's really inspiration. Right. It's inspiration. And then, shall I say, mistakes. Yeah, this, <laughs> exactly. This yeah. uh, upside down ube pie came from a mistake. Tell us about that mistake again. Yeah, well, um, the Park's Finest over in downtown LA, they order our um, ube creme caramels and buco pandan creme caramels for their dessert menu. Okay. And so um, one of the ubes, um, or a sheet of the ubes were a little overdone, and uh -huh. they're fine um, when you pull them out, but okay. it's just... For me to give it to someone, I have to make sure they look okay. Right. And so um, I didn't want to waste them. So I'm like, what am I going to do? So I started experimenting. Like, this is probably the, the second experiment I did. Right. Was this graham cracker yogurt and oh, graham, um, cracker, graham is cracker, the, cracker yogurt okay. crust. Let me try. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah? Happy town? <laughs> yes. Thank wow. you. Thank mm. you. That's very, very, very mm. generous. What I like I about this that. is... It's not too sweet. Right. I can actually taste a little bit of the salt from the cracker. Right. Right? Right. And it's just a good mix. Of, especially for those of you who don't like, you know, too sweet right. stuff, this is perfect. Right. It's definitely a decadent dessert. I'm not going to say, like, we don't use in a lot of sugar because we do. <laughs> so, oh, okay, then I should stop tasting. No, no, no. <laughs> but it's, it's not like, um, but you're absolutely right. It's, um, it's the taste, uh, when it actually hits your palate, it's like if there's not too much sugar, then that's good. There's so. a burst of flavor inside. It's oh, good. like it's Thank just you. the right amount of sweet and salty and which is that. why i also like the la lemon lavender because there's it's a little sour with the lemon yes and then a little it's tangy right right yeah. okay this one i want to try one minute on the show <laughs> tell me about the red mung i love mung bean so love, it's uh, a okay. vanilla bread pudding with a okay. uh, red mung bean and it's okay. topped with a salted caramel sauce and it's um definitely something that um i might want to 
help you out. It's not like one of those things that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put it on the table. Okay. I don't want it how to fall did you, in. How did you find out about this? Uh, I mean, how did you? Well, um, uh, we we've been embrace uh, our customers have been embracing the Filipino flavors of our stuff. We do a hollow hollow creme caramel. Okay. And we do um, a, a throw in bread pudding. Okay. So we use um, it's really just, we've just been experimenting with the stuff that I grew up with eating in different things. Because red bean is in hollow hollow. Right. Exactly. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Amazing. I have to end the show so that I can finish <laughs> all this. Thank you, Christine. Thank you so Invite much. us to your opening. Information I will. on the screen, right? Yeah. So September 9th, we're going to be opening up on, on Burbank Boulevard, 14849 Burbank Boulevard in Sherman Oaks. So hopefully see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.